Hi. Um, so, first of all, thank you um, and welcome to uh, Great Sense um, at Home. This is volume two. And today we're going to talk about the um, impact that oak has on wines. So, um, first tasting note, we're looking at Roussan. Um, this is by uh, Yellen and Paps um, from the Barossa Valley. It's 2015 vintage. Now, Roussan um, is a wonderful French grape um, that originates and is most famous um, for being um, grown in the northern Rhone Valley in France. And it's often blended with um, Marsan and Viognier um, to make a lovely white blend um, in places like Hermitage, Croce Hermitage and Tounon. Now, um, Roussan itself is named after um, the actual color um, of the grape skin um, once the grape is fully ripened. Um, so uh, it almost becomes kind of this reddish gold color, hence the name Roussan. Um, now, it's a grape that can be quite difficult um, to fully ripen, so it does enjoy a warm climate. Um, and uh, so apart from the Northern Rhone, um, it works really well here in Australia in places like the Barossa Valley and McLaren Vale. Um, it can be a bit of a nightmare for vineyard um, managers um, to grow, um, simply because of the, uh, the late ripening of the varietal, but also um, the susceptibility that the variety has to uh, things like powdery mildew and rot, um, grey rot. Um, so while vineyard managers really you know, can struggle with it, it's however really great for winemakers. Um, they tend to love it because it's similar to Chardonnay in that it lends itself to winemaking techniques that um, allow the grape to be fairly easily manipulated um, to create beautiful, complex and character-filled wines. Um, this Yellen and Papa's Roussan, though, um, it, they are basically Yellen and Paps. They're a, um, a small family winery, um, just first-generation winemakers, um, which is a little unusual in the Barossa, because um, usually in the Barossa you're talking five, six generations. Um, so these guys are relatively new on the block. Um, husband and wife team, and um, these vines were actually planted in 2001 um, in a wonderful loam soil. Loam is a combination of sand, clay, um, and silt. Now, the vineyard itself, 270 meters above sea level, um, all the fruit was hand picked. And uh, one of the reasons I actually chose this wine is because, interestingly, it was fermented in barrel, so fermented in oak, um, rather than um, the majority of wine, which is generally fermented in stainless steel. Um, stainless steel gives you more control over things like temperature um, and can be um, completely air sealed as well if necessary. Um, however, fermenting in barrel does add some lovely kind of rounded texture um, and richness um, to the wine at a very early stage in the process. So um, it does have uh, quite a significant impact. Um, now, the maturation of the wine um, was basically all French oak. They used a combination of um, Punchins and hogsheads, so punchins 500 litres, hogsheads 300 litres. 9% of the oak used, only 9% was new, so the rest was seasoned, three, four, five, six years old. Um, the wine itself was then matured for 10 months um, before being um, bottled and then released to the market. Um, in regards to the actual notes of the wine, so the aromas, um, I get some wonderful peat, uh, sorry, um, pear. I get a little bit of spiced apple, maybe a little bit of marzipan in there as well, and some lovely kind of nutty, almost like macadamia um, elements. There's also a little splash of honey on the back palate, which is really cool and just adds a little bit of extra richness. Um, on the palate, though, definitely rich, definitely layered, lovely complexity, nice textural palate, um, good, good length, um, and then smooth and creamy um, kind of finish to the wine as well. Um, the wine match that I have for this um, in regards to food would be, for example, some poultry dishes. So maybe some roasted quail or chicken would work really well. Um, or even like a, a lovely Italian style creamy pasta, um, you know, a spaghetti carbonara would not be, uh, would not be the worst thing to be honest. So anyway, I hope you enjoy the first wine. Um, we'll be back with the second. Thanks.